Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris from weartesters.com. Today we have a performance review on the Under Armour Micro G Clutch Fit Drive. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right guys, so here is the traction. You have multi-directional herringbone. Uh, this stuff worked awesome on all court conditions, indoor, outdoor, really didn't matter. It held you tight to the floor and uh, allowed you to do pretty much whatever it is that you wanted to do while remaining durable. The rubber itself has a kind of a sticky feeling, but it doesn't stick to dust the way that it feels like it might. Um, this stuff, again, was awesome. I thought it was uh, probably a little bit better than the Spawn um, overall. It definitely has uh, better grooves and it's multi-directional, so it covers you pretty much all over the place. The cushion used is Under Armour's Micro G. It is full length, it's the entire midsole. Uh, this stuff, in my opinion, is one of my favorite foams. Um, I actually thought that this version here was a little bit more firm than the stuff that they used in the Spawn. It has just as much impact protection, but it has less bounce or responsiveness in this guy right here. The benefit to that is that it's a little bit more stable. So um, as you can see, there's not too much of an outrigger or anything. So when you are making your movements, um, the, the fact that it's not as soft or spongy as the regular Micro G is actually a benefit. But overall, I thought that the cushion was awesome. I love playing in Micro G. It just feels great. Uh, I feel good after I'm done playing, so no aches and pains, and that's something that I definitely can enjoy. So the material is what they call Clutch Fit. This is their new stuff. They've spanned this across their entire uh, line, so from running to football, soccer, and uh, now basketball. And this stuff is a little bit different than their previous renditions. Most notably their running category, their runners have a uh, mesh base and then they have the clutch fit that's overlaid on top of it, which is this, uh, this overlay pattern. And then for basketball, it's basically an entire synthetic. Uh, underneath is very thin and then they lay over the clutch fit, which was a slight bummer for me. Uh, I thought that this was gonna feature a little bit more mesh. Um, they could have at least targeted mesh in certain zones, uh, but they decided not to do that. Instead, it's just a full on synthetic kind of reminds me of Fuse, um, but this is more like a second skin. It's not as stiff or as rigid as Fuse, but just as durable. So while you're playing, this thing conforms to your foot. It allows you to move uh, freely. And then these little designs here, uh, when you make certain movements, it'll kind of like stretch off or tighten up depending on what it is you're doing and what zone you're activating. As far as overall performance for the materials, I thought that it was good. Um, nothing too fancy or crazy, but it was something that I definitely didn't notice while playing, which is exactly the point. As far as they fit, go true to size. Um, wide footers, you might be able to get away with a true to size fit or possibly going up half a size. Uh, this is definitely one of those shoes that I recommend trying on uh, just in case. Lockdown on the shoe was incredible. Um, like I was saying earlier, the second skin really wraps around your foot. So it fits one to one with your foot, which is great. As far as lockdown is concerned, midfoot and heel lockdown is fantastic. And then you have this little rubber uh, heel counter right here, which I thought was interesting. It was flexible, but also supportive, which was kind of strange so not something that I had totally expected but it was definitely awesome ventilation definitely the shoes downside again like I was saying earlier in the material section their clutch fit line that they have with their runners is basically mesh with clutch fit overlaid on top of it something that I thought that they would have done here um, but it's all synthetics and it's not breathable whatsoever so ventilation for me was actually a problem uh, there is some airflow here throughout the tongue but that's pretty much it um, I received quite a few blisters in these guys, so what I would recommend is to either double sock or replace the insole with one that's already broken in. That way you're not having to do that whole break-in process all over again. Something that I think they should have done, though, is just use targeted mesh, uh, maybe right here on the toe, possibly right here on the lateral side or whatever it might be. Something to add some sort of ventilation, especially since there is all of this clutch fit, which would have maintain the structural integrity and support of the shoe. So they could have definitely used some targeted mesh in certain areas. The overall support's coming from that fit. And then you also have a nice flat and stable base. This for me was really awesome. Um, just kind of keeps you grounded on the floor. Doesn't allow you to teeter or move over. And when you're making your moves, it's just simple, clean, and you just kind of go with the flow. And as I said earlier, you have this little plastic heel counter and this thing worked great keeping your heel inside the shoe from a side to side movements and then the lockdown again was pretty much doing the rest of the work for you along with the materials so support was very abundant even though this is a pretty lightweight shoe all right guys that pretty much takes care of everything for the under armor clutch fit drive great all-around performer especially at its price point 125 bucks you really can't go wrong it's durable comfortable has great traction a little less on the ventilation side but you know 
it is what it is. So if you wanted to pick these up, you can now over at finishline.com. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to my site, weartesters.com, for all your performance needs. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.